cliffs have been falling can only mean one thing. And that one thing is fossil collecting. Let's find some fossils. Looks like it might be the first find of the day. Look at that. Keel right there, look. Ooh. Oh, that's a little beauty. Look at that lovely Dactylioceros athleticum. That's beautiful. I'm dead pleased with that one. Another one spotted. You know, these are fresh out of the cliff. Look at that. Whoa. That's beautiful. We'll come to that big block in a minute. But a little bit of a keel showing. Oh, it's a bit crushed and squashed that. Yeah, that won't make it back with me, but somebody else might enjoy that if they come along and find it. The tides aren't going to take it out for the next few days. This, though, I'm excited about. And there's a reason why I get excited about these kind of nodules. One, because it's the size of my face. And then two, there's always a really good chance that there's an ammonite called Hildoceros in there, which just so happens to be one of my favourite ammonites and also my first ever ammonite that I ever found. Let's give it a whack with a hammer and let's see if there's anything inside there. I've just seen a problem. This right here, a big hairline crack. So it's not the end of the world if there is something inside there because we can always glue it back together. It's just a bit annoying that I can't split it properly for you. Small hammer, not big hammer. We don't want to do too much damage. Yeah, there we go. Moment of truth. All right, you guys can see it first. Yeah, there is a lot. But wow, that is really squashed. What on earth is that? That's really weird. It's really, really crushed along the plane, which you don't tend to see in these nodules very often. It's probably just a crushed hildy. Yeah, I was right. Really, really crushed hildoceros. Oh, well, you win some, you lose some. Right, I don't have much hopes for this one, but we'll get it a good whack. Oof, wow, that came off really quick. Yeah, there's going to be nothing in this. I was correct. I spy another little Dactylioceros. Ooh, that's not bad. Nope, middle's blown out. So unfortunately, when you get ammonites like this, it's never worth taking home. There's not really any middle in there. What's happened is when it's got fossilized, the gas has got stuck in the gas chambers over millions and millions of years. And at some point down the line, it's just gone and blown it all out, which is what you call a blowout, obviously. So that can go back there. So I've just had a good walk around and I've collected all of these nodules here. Some of them probably aren't going to have anything in them, but some others will. This is a nice one. This is a Dactylioceros gracile block. There's lots of teeny tiny little ammonites in here. Now, these don't tend to split very well, but I'm going to give it a split because it's a very heavy block and I don't really want to carry it back. <laughs> I really thought my luck was going to be in with all of that. Like, there was a lot of good nodules, but check this out. All of this split down and not a single good ammonite out of it. Unfortunately, sometimes you can come out and you'll hardly get anything. So, we'll crack on. Let's go find some more. This is the best piece of wood I've seen in a long time. Look at that. Oh, it's gnarly knots. Oh, look at that, oysters. So that's where the oysters have been attached. Whoa, that's really cool. That one's coming in my bag, actually. That, that's really, really nice. You can see inside there where the jet started to produce. Yeah, that's coming home. That's really cool. If you enjoy the videos and whatnot, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps out massively with the growth of the channel. Really late to the party with that one. Look at that. Lovely imprint of a dat there. I'm very envious that I didn't get that and there was another one right next to it. Probably a double nodule. That'd have been beautiful. This looks like it's got a potential to be a really nice dac. Oh, Ooh, yeah, it has. Lovely. Look at that. This is what I love. Look at that, beautiful. So I hope you can hear that. So bits of shingle coming down, but this is what I'm saying always about cliff falls produce fossils. I have literally walked past this spot this morning and look, that is a gorgeous dac. Beautiful again. 
lovely stuff. I'm very happy today. Well, this has been hard work today. I've not really had much since the last clip. So, luckily, I've come to one of my favourite spots that I usually come to at the end of the day because it's right next to the steps over here. And that, yeah, let me show you. Currently, I'm after multi-blocks. It's one of my favourite things to do. And I'm currently looking for Dactylioceros gracile blocks from the Dactylioceros genus. Now, these blocks are an absolute pain to prepare because of all the calcite and just all the inclusions in there. It can be very painful, but, but look at that calcite DAC. That's a big gracile. This is going to be a beautiful block, but I've got an even bigger one next to me. So I'm going to split this now and hopefully it's absolutely jam packed. I'm going to show you what it looks like before. We'll give it a hit, see if it splits well. I really hope it does and I hope it's jammed. That's what I'm after. Like the Promicroceros ammonites that you get down in Lyme Regis where they're absolutely jam packed throughout the nodules. Gracile's are kind of very similar but they do not split and they do not prepare well whatsoever very often. So let's show you. Here's the block. It's jam packed with them through this section. There is a partial harposerus on there, which is usually the case with these blocks. I mean, yeah, the gracile's run all the way through. I've probably got my hopes up more for the other block than this one. So we're gonna hit this one and let's see what we can get out. Right then, moment of truth. Sod it. Whee! Well, let's see if there's any... Oh, it's not looking good already, you know. Oh, this is not looking good. Right, we're just going to give this a good welly. It's the only way to do it. Right, it's split. Multiple areas, but it's fine. So this is not looking like it's going to be preserved well at all, which is a shame. But sometimes it's just the way it goes, isn't it? Oh wow, yeah. Rubbish. What a shame. 